Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a um, step card that I came across on a um, blog or um, Yahoo group that I actually belong to. So this is actually not my card design, but I did sort of take the concept of what I found and then I figured out how to do it on my own so that I could change the size of the card. So um, that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to be leaving a link um, down below in the information bar and that will take you to the blog of um, the original card that I found and there you will find a PDF file of a template um, of what I'm going to be showing you how to make from scratch. So um, you could certainly print off that template and use that exact template and it'll be a little bit easier for you. Um, or you can just take the concept that I teach you today and apply it to any size of card that you want and make it your own. So, and that's why I basically did it because I wanted to do a, a larger card than the template offered. So I just um, started to try it on my own and figure out how to actually make my own, um, not really template, but figure out how to do it on my own and then make the cart. So what you're going to need is, I'll show you quickly, this is just a, a sample of the card. So it, the way it works is it opens and then when you open it up there's actually it reveals these steps inside. So I'm going to actually show you how to make this size but at the end of the video I'm going to show you um, a one that I made which is how I came up with the instructions for this one and it's a larger card. So. So to get started, what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is, in this case, is going to be 5 inches by 10 inches. And the first thing you want to do is find your halfway mark. And just with a pencil, just mark it. So at 5 inches along the top, I'm just going to mark it. And then what you're going to need is to create the stairs, you need... It depends how many stairs you want. In this case, I'm going to be doing four stairs. So I divided five by four and got one and a quarter. So this is one and a quarter. And then I made the length one and three quarters. So um, you, could, you could apply this principle to any amount of steps that you want or s the size of card that you want. You just take your the measurement along your height and divide it by the number of stairs that you want and then that will give you the measurement for this side and then you just decide how wide you want your stairs to be. So what you're going to be doing is taking this um, little uh, rectangle and I actually marked it um, here. I put a little mark here at the half inch um, mark and I will tell you what you need that for later. So the first thing you do is you take this rectangle and with the mark that you put at the five you want the rectangle to go to the left of it. So you line it up and then line it up right to the top of your um, cardstock and then what I did is I just drew in the rectangle. And then what you do is you take your rectangle to create your next step you want to measure over half an inch um, right directly under that square just mark it along the bottom the half inch and then there is where you put the top left edge of the rectangle so you know where to make your next step now when you do this you want to do it right you want to line up that line right over top of the uh, top line so that because if you don't it won't be you'll have room at the bottom so you'll see what I mean when I keep going so you just keep doing it then at the next step again you go underneath it you mark your cor your half inch and then move it over and draw your rectangle and then from there you should it should work out so that when I put this down like it it hangs over the edge slightly but it's okay, you, um, nobody will really notice, So, but that's why you have to put your rectangle right on the line. So in this case I'm putting right on, on that line and then um, drawing this, the rectangle here. So this is what you end up with, is your steps that way. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be cutting um, with your, um, your X-Acto knife along all of the lines, these lines, and then you're going to be scoring the other lines. So what I'm going to be doing is
Okay, so when I when I actually use my exacto knife, I, I like to use a like a steel ruler, but you can use whatever you prefer. So what I'm gonna do is just I don't know why, but I line up the left edge with the number one, and then I know that I need to um, take the score over to the, in this case, the three and one quarter. Yeah, the three and one quarter line. So all I'm doing is taking this, I try and do it, well, I'll do it once and then I'll go over it again. So I make sure I get that line in there, a solid um, cut in there. Okay, so now that I've got all my lines cut, what I'm going to be doing is using my score pal, and I'm going to be scoring it. Now, the one thing that's going to make this simple is because it's, it's sometimes hard to figure out where to do the score lines when it's in the middle of the paper like that, but because we only went over half an inch or a quarter, half an inch, sorry, then you know you can just go over a quarter, half, a, half an inch each one. So what you're going to do, so I might zoom in there here. So here, what you're going to be doing is I just for, I just put it at number five, and then I score down, and then I know I have to go over half an inch, and that should be where the next score line is, and usually it works out. And then another half inch over, and I go over that score line, another half inch over, and I go over that score line. So again, when you're doing the right edge, you mark it, just put it at a, a whole number. So here it's six. So I go down six, and then at six and a half should be the next, and then seven. This is probably the trickiest part, I would say, of making the card. And then um, at the bottom, it should be seven and a half. Okay. So now that you've done that, what I'm do, what I'm going to do is these. This part of the steps are going to be folded backwards. So just at each. Um, score line I'm just kind of folding it back this this is a bit tricky too and then on the other side it's going to be folded the other way so I just sort of try and help it sorry I was out of frame there and I just sort of try and help it on the, the fold line score line I'm going to go like that and then like you will be able to get to the point where you're going to be able to um, put it over on its onto itself so when what I do here is before I kind of solidify my creases I line up the bottom and the top before I use my bone folder to really get those creases solid. It'll just help later on um, when you make the card, you're, you're decorating the card to make sure that your edges are lined up. So that is the steps of the card. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna put the front of the card on. So all I did in this case is I turned it over and I just saw where my first step started. I just marked that. And then I opened it up and with the score pal, I just um, scored it at that mark here. And then I um, turned it over so that now at this point you're going to need another piece of cardstock with this one is five by five and it's going to go right over top of that fold over to create the front of your card so you're just going to be putting adhesive on this flap and then you line up your five by five cardstock and put it on top and then um, that's how you create the card and now I'm going to give you some tips on how to decorate this part of the card in particular so that you can uh, measure your cardstock properly to get it into those um, kind of spaces so in order to do that what I did is I actually make a separate card the exact same card and I just kind of cut it apart <clears throat> So how I did this is I actually take the exact same card that I made and I cut it apart. So you just want the sections on either side of the stairs so that you know um, so you know how to measure your 
your pattern paper to kind of go into this area. So I just basically cut that front flap off. And then in this case, I just cut out my square, my stairs. So you have this as a template now, and then when you cut out these um, squares, you have this as a template. And this is actually how I came up with the idea of making the squares and drawing the pencil marks around it, is because I did it a, a different way when I did it for the first time, and it was very complicated, and I thought, there's no way I'm going to be able to teach this to on the video. So when I cut out these squares, just to make this template, I got the idea, I'm like, hold on, now I have a set square that I can use as measurements to create the, the steps on the card. So that's, it's by fluke that I actually came up with this idea. So now you have the two sides and you're going to be able to put this on your pattern paper and use it as a template and then be able to adhere it right down on your card. So in my next um, section I'm going to show you the original card that I made and I actually made it larger than this card just to give you an uh, idea of a completed card. And um, when you when you make these steps you'll, would you f you'll find that you might have to trim them a little bit. Um, as templates just so you know so that when you cut the pattern paper out of it you know like how it's gonna fit in your card so in this case you just want to make sure it's gonna if you when you cut your pattern paper it's gonna fit right in there and snug right up against the stairs okay so here's an example of a five-step card that I made um, and I used the new um, Chantilly paper pack from Close to My Heart that was just released in the 2013 Spring Summer Idea Book. So, um, <clears throat> and I actually, for this, I actually made use the coordinating um, chipboard pieces and there's some sparkles that match. And then I cut out the roses with the Art for Less Philosophy Cricut cartridge. Um, and this stamp set um, that I used it's called um, Fashionista, and it actually comes with this sentiment as well, love who you are. Um, so basically how it works is you open the card, and I decorated the inside there, but then it actually opens to reveal these steps, and in this case I put the word BU. And then I have this section here so that you can write, when you give the card to someone, you can write out your, your message to them on the card. So this is how it looks um, from the upper angle, um, and then there it is again. So this was actually a quite complicated card um, to make, but I had fun doing it. I, I tend to like um, challenges. I like to kind of look at um, something and then try and figure out how to either make it the size that I want it or um, just figure out how to make it from scratch. So um, in this case, I, there was a template that... Um, I came across on somebody's blog and when you print it out it was the card would have been much smaller than what I would have liked so I just used the template and then um, took my own measurements actually and then made the card um, the size that I wanted so I hope that you um, enjoyed it and um, thanks for coming by my YouTube channel and watching and I'll s see you next time thanks bye bye